Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com, and today we're going to talk about ebike scams, specifically how you can make sure that you don't get had. Now you might be thinking, hey, I'm a savvy internet user, I'm not going to get caught up in any of these e-bike scams, but there are plenty of people that have, and they thought the exact same thing. So today I'm going to run through a few of the common electric bike scams that I see on the internet, and that way you'll know what to look out for, what to avoid, and make sure that you don't fall victim. Now the first e-bike scam that I've seen a lot is unfortunately affecting my channel and you guys as my viewers. This is the way it works. There's a scammer or a group of scammers that create YouTube accounts. They put my logo as their uh, profile picture, and then they reply to comments under my videos saying that they're me, that someone has won a e-bike or a motor or some nice, you know, juicy prize, and then telling that person to message them on a private messaging service like WhatsApp, Telegram, that sort of thing to claim the prize. Now the first giveaway here should be that the English is very stilted, endeavor to send a direct message, yeah, no one talks like that. Also the grammar is really bad, you can see even there's like no spaces after punctuation. Now I'm not saying I'm George Orwell, but I have a decent command of the English language, and obviously I don't talk or write like this. So hopefully that's a giveaway in the beginning, but that hasn't stopped a lot of people from falling for this. Now just for fun, I actually messaged this guy and I went through with it to see how the scam works. Basically in the beginning, he has you confirm who you are by sending a screenshot of the comment. Since I wasn't a commenter, I just BS'd past that step. Uh, then I think he confused me with uh, a commenter on one of the tool channels he probably spams as well because he offered me a Milwaukee tool set. So then I was like, oh cool, how do I do it? And the, the jig is basically that he charges you a shipping fee. So he says, I'll send this free thing to you, but you have to pay shipping. And then to sell it a little more, he shows you the different shipping options you can choose from. And then you get to send him a payment and hopefully get your prize. But obviously you're getting nothing in the end because this is just a giant scam. Now many of you may be rolling your eyes and saying, look, that's obviously a scam. I'm never going to fall for that. But many people actually have. And I know that because I've unfortunately gotten messages from people saying that they thought this was me. They went through with it. And then they sent this guy you know a few hundred bucks in shipping and never got the bike and I feel terrible about that that's one of the reasons I'm making this video so that we can make sure as many people realize how this works as possible and they don't fall victim now moving forward I hope that you'll look at some of the warning signs here if you ever see something like this or if you see it on another channel because this scammer group is obviously targeting multiple channels so the first thing is does it look fishy is the wording funny does the person obviously not speak English as a native language that sort of thing then next does this channel actually do giveaways now, to be fair, I do give away e-bikes sometimes, but those are always official giveaways. I'll make an entire video about it. And then there's actually an entry form. When I choose the winners, I call people so that you know that it's me. And there's never a charge. When I give away e-bikes, I pay the shipping so that you don't have to pay anything. If you've ever won something on the internet or from a scammer phone call or anything like that, and you have to pay money to get it, that is 100% a scam. You'll never win something and then have to pay money. Don't fall for that one. It's just, it's one of the oldest tricks in the book. So if you see that on another channel, hopefully now you know how the scam works and you can avoid it. Now moving on, the next scam that I'm seeing a lot is the super great deal on an e-bike scam or the super discounted e-bike. I often see this spreading around Facebook or perhaps even on uh, advertisements on legitimate sites where there will be some sort of Google ad and they've actually invested in the scam and you'll see a really nice looking e-bike for a crazy low price. So it'll be like, you know, a $2,000 e-bike for or $149.99 kind of thing. And there's a few ways this scam works. One of the more benign scams is that it's just harvesting email addresses for a list. Uh, a little more problematic are sometimes they're fake sites where you sign up for an account and then they've got your email and a password that you may or may not use on other accounts like a bank or that sort of thing. Sometimes these are even for legitimate, I think legitimate auction sites, basically sites that actually sell items but the way it works is that you have to pay to bid, and so they'll have expensive things like you know a MacBook or a TV or an electric bike, something that probably costs thousands of dollars, and they'll be selling sometimes for $100, $150, but the scam is that you have to pay to bid, and maybe it's $5 a bid or something. So you've got people bidding these things up from a few dollars, but by the time it gets to like 150 bucks, the company's made hundreds or thousands of dollars on people paying $5 per bid. So don't fall into one of those things. It's basically a form of gambling because it gets people sort of hooked and they get that like dopamine rush when they put in the bid and they hope that they're going to get that expensive e-bike or that you know expensive MacBook for $37 but you just get hooked on it and you keep bidding bidding and 
by the time you get near the top, you may have spent hundreds of dollars already and still not win the chance to buy this thing for a cheap price. And so the overarching theme in a lot of these scams is just the, is it too good to be true doctrine, right? So like, you know, is winning a free e-bike and I only have to pay 125 bucks in shipping too good to be true? Yeah, probably. Is being able to buy a $2,000 e-bike with an $87 bid too good to be true? Yeah, absolutely. Anytime you see these things anywhere in life, if it sounds too good to be true, it is too good to be true. And I don't care what the other factors are, you know? Oh, but it has like great reviews on the site. No, it's still a scam. Oh, but they emailed me with my name in the email. No, it's still a scam. If it sounds too good to be true, it is too good to be true. All right, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. But last but not least, before we go, I am going to do my normal giveaway. I know this is a bit confusing after a whole thing about scams, but trust me, this is not a scam. This is the giveaway I do at the end of every single video I make. And whoever is the randomly selected commenter from the comments down below will win a free copy of one of my books. And so the randomly selected commenter from my last video is... Stephen Overstreet. So congratulations, Stephen. Just let me know which one of my books you'd like. You can choose from DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or my latest book, The Electric Bike Manifesto, and anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books for free, all you have to do is put a comment down below. You can say anything you'd like, and hopefully you'll be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. For anyone who doesn't want to wait that long to hopefully win one of my books for free, you can always find them on Amazon. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe out there, and I will see you here next time.